Today on iPad 365, we take your iPad to figure out what noises are in your room and which ones are the annoying ones. This episode is brought to you by Go To My PC. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we review an app a day to keep your iPad in play. It is Wednesday, we do utilities on Wednesday as we always do. Uh, of course, we had Game Tuesday yesterday and we talked about the free dreaming app and I don't know if you've gotten a chance to play it, but if you have, let me know. My Twitter handle is iPad365 and of course the email address is iPad365show at gmail.com. We've got a lot of great stuff here, but I want to talk for a second before we get into an app about another website, a friend of mine, Don McAllister. He's got a website out there called Screencasts Online. Now, I talk about apps pretty much within a five to ten minute radius to get you uh, know what, what's out there for applications. What Don and the group there does is they put it into screencasts, show you how to do it step by step by step, which, uh, of course, if you're using a business application, you really want to know how to use the application. So you can show it to your boss and say, hey, this is how we use this application, and then you can adopt it company-wide. So I want, to, I want you to go over to Screencasts Online and check it out there. Of course, I'll have the link in the show notes. Now, like I said, today is Utility Wednesday. We're going to look at some sound utilities, but we're not going to gear it towards the sound professional, although we will talk about it for the sound professional here. Now, have you ever heard somebody say, you know, have you, do you hear that? Do you hear that buzz? There's, there's this buzz that's going around. But you hear absolutely nothing. Sometimes noises get through even though we can't hear them. Of course, our human hearing doesn't go below a certain level or above a certain level, yet dogs and cats and even small children can hear that types, uh, those types of sounds. Um, this room, for example, actually is pretty, pretty noisy. I, I do different things to kill some of the noise. Like, for instance, I put up some some sheets and stuff like that and, and to, uh, to kind of reflect the sound so it's a little bit deader. However, in uh, calling up applications like this, I can see that I'm, it's, not, it's still a noisy room. Now, for some, you may need to figure out your room for a sound decibel, which is a, a measurement of sound is a decibel. For parents, it might be the reason why your child cannot fall asleep at night or during the day something could be hurting his or her ears. Now, that's what Noise Sniffer is all about. It's going to give you a general idea of how many decibels is happening around you in the room. Noise Sniffer is actually pretty straightforward to use. You open up the application, you hit the Start button. It'll tell you how many decibels are in the air right now as we speak. For example, my house. Uh, if I run upstairs or if I'm actually down here, it's, if I if I have if I'm quiet completely quiet 35 decibels wherever I am in my house 35 decibels however once the heat kicks in uh, it knocks up to 50 decibels which is still well below uh, regular levels it's it's not a big deal if it got up to 70 or 80 decibels then you start to worry because those are some danger levels for kids experts say that an 80 to 85 decibel range is good for their hearing Therefore, if they've got the TV on super loud and you run this uh, noise uh, sniffer and it says you're at 90 to 100 decibels, you can go to the kids and say, hey, you're going to actually ruin your ears if you don't turn it down. Yeah, I know. I just sounded like a parent there. But, you know, that's the, that's the beauty of it is you now have facts behind you that experts say 80 to 85 for kids hearing. That's very, very important. Now. This is a great app for bar owners to even have uh, on their iPads, especially if they have live music or a jukebox. If somebody says, yeah, I want it turned up even more, you can go up to them and say, yeah, look at, look at, how, look at how heavy, how loud it is right now. And of course, some bars run noise ordinances or cities for these bars run noise ordinances, so they have to stay below a certain decibel. And if a cop came in with their iPad noise sniffer, you might find yourself in trouble, and those fines actually get pretty high. Now, when we come back, we're going to talk about an actual RTA real-time analyzer, which is uh, something and one that I've used and one that I'm going to show you. Of course, we don't want to take our PCs with us. We want to take our mobile devices with us because they're cooler and they're smaller and they're easier to carry. 
we don't want to take them on planes because then we have to pull out another bin at the, uh, at the checkpoint to pull out that computer and go from there. We want to have our internet connection, we want to have everything at our fingertips and that's why we use a program like go to my pc we can keep our computers at home connected to our internet turned on and then when we need to use them we just use our ipads and we we connect up via an app that we download from the app store we connect up we put in our passwords and we can see the desktop of our desktop of our laptop we actually don't have to purchase new types of internet connections. I know when I went to Las Vegas, I'd have to buy these all these 4G cards to keep all my computers running. Now I use the internet connection at home, so it saves me a ton of money right there, and I utilize my internet connection when I normally don't. I run it on my iPhone through 3G in an airport, it switched back and forth between Edge and 3G, but I still was able to get the stuff I needed to get done, done. It's a great program, and you should try it out yourself. 30 days for free, by using that code podcast. All you have to do is go over to go to mypc.com, click the try it free now button, enter in the code podcast. That's gonna get you a 30 day free trial of that great software. So go over to go to my PC and don't take your big old bulky computer with you. Now, although noise sniffers are nice, sometimes you wanna figure out a complete frequency that could be causing a problem because you never know. Like for instance, in this room, I needed to figure out if there's a if there's a frequency that's coming through the microphone that could you might not like and if you don't like it you don't watch the show so it works from there you could have a home theater system too and you might be listening to a movie and you go wow that's that weird hum I can't figure out that weird hum it just happens every now and then well that's why you would get what's called a real time analyzer or an RTA it'll help you figure out what frequencies are off kilter. First, let's get a little bit technical. RTAs on iPads are okay, but they're not professional grade. There's going to be a level of error. There are some mic solutions you can add to, uh, add to the iPad that'll help you with the RTA, but it doesn't replace a good old fashioned real-time analyzer and real-time analyzer microphone. They have a specific microphone for the real-time analyzer to analyze a room. However, in a pinch, if you need something right here, right now, an iPad or an iPhone application will flip the bill. And sometimes, like I said, you can hook up an external microphone, which we've talked about a couple different times that you can get to uh, get a better read of your room. Because of course, we don't want to buy some big old piece of uh, uh, pro equipment that we're never going to use again, right? So. Now, with that said, I've used this program. It's called RTA on my iPhone for a couple years now. It's a great way to figure out what frequencies are out of control. And the best part is I can walk around a room, find those bad spots where the bass jumps a little bit, and see if I can actually adjust it, maybe move a speaker just a little bit, or maybe move the EQ just a little bit to make that work. Now, of course, I run live sound for local musicians around the area, so I know enough to be useful and sometimes even dangerous. So this RTA solution is a great way to help out figure out well, what frequencies are too much or too little. Because basically, if you, if you think about it, think of it as a little arc like this. And that's where you want to be on your frequencies, from your low to your high. Actually, you'd be seeing it like this. So uh, you would want to have that little arc right there. And if you have something that goes up and down and up and down like that, it's not good. So you want to fix that type of stuff. And that's where an RTA analyzer would come in. However, RTA is iPhone only. And as I said before, I try not to talk about applications that haven't jumped over to the iPad, created an iPad version. Therefore, there's another iPad app that did start on an iPhone and did jump to iPad. And it's called Octave which is an RTA for the iPhone. This is very similar to RTA. You can see what frequencies are higher than others. Therefore, you can correct with an EQ or another effect, or like I said, actually turn a speaker to make the sound a little bit richer, a little bit fuller. You wanna have that full sound because everybody's gonna enjoy the music at that point. You can look at uh, frequencies in one sixth uh, octave bands, which is great for some audiophiles, that really want to tune in on a specific frequency to figure out how to fix it. You can get peak frequencies by tapping onto the screen, which is kind of important because as the little bars keep going up and down and up and down, 
you want to be able to kind of hit that that point where it, it actually pushes up and then stops right there. So you can see if you're actually getting that arc as a whole or if it's way up and way down and you have to make adjustments. So exa for example, if the 1000 frequency, kilohertz frequency, is too high, it's just way up there and everything else is on this level, you can go back to your EQ and turn it down just a little bit so it gets below that level and you can have that nice little arc. And of course, that's the show for today. Just so you know, the Octave RTA for the iPhone is not free. It's, it's uh, I think it's $4.99 in the App Store. Uh, the noise sniffer is free. Uh, and last time I checked, and, and I know I've talked about some apps and I've said that they've been free and then all of a sudden they changed their prices because they were on special when I took a look at them or something like that. But uh, you can always check and uh, make sure that uh, there's no price to it before you download it. At the time of this episode, that, sh that application was completely free. Their RTA comes in, uh, the one for iPhone, comes in a light and a pro version. I believe the pro version is $10.99. And of course, the uh, Octave uh, RTA is, I believe, $4.99. Uh, of course, those prices also change because it is a professional piece of equipment when they're expecting um, audio files and they're expecting a pro, uh, pro audio people to use this for their iPhones and their iPads. Uh, and go from there. So, but anyway, have you used the RTA applications? Do you do you like those applications? Do you have another one that you're going to suggest to me? Please do so by twittering me over at iPad365. You can also go to iPad365show at gmail.com and you can email me there. And then of course the contact page over at geekazine.com. Speaking of which, we just changed the look of Geekazine. You can check it out over at geekazine.com. Tomorrow we've got a, pro a productivity app, and we're going to talk about flashlights too. And because uh, I got a special little tweak for you, if you uh, if you need to figure out how to fix the contrast on your iPad really quick without going to the settings. So, and then on Friday we're going to do the top ten paid apps, highest paid apps, uh, most expensive apps on the App Store. So you can check that out on Friday. So anyway, my name is Jeffrey Powers. Of course, today is Lenten season, the beginning of Lent. Uh, so anybody that's celebrating Lenten season, well, I, I hope your 40-day abstinence goes really well. Of course, we will continue to bring out more iPad 365 episodes because you've been asking for them, and I know you've been downloading them. So thank you very, very much for that. Once again, we will see you in 24 when it will be another iPad 365. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Take care. You should follow Graphite on Twitter at GraphiteINC.